It's relatively simple to describe what SOX is about. SOX requires controls to ensure the integrity of financial transactions and reporting. Unlike PCI regulations, which call out specific security functionality and even specific products like a web application firewall, SOX requirements don't easily map to security products. Look at two key SOX sections as an example. Section 302 is about controlling financial information so it's consistent and reliable. Section 404 is about having external auditors validate management's self-assessment. Think about translating those into security requirements. There are a lot of different approaches you could take. Organizations turn to management frameworks like COBIT and COSO to provide tangible structure and definition when building SOX enforcement. How do you demonstrate database use conforms with SOX? The main issues that have to be addressed are separation of duties, the SOX audit cannot be corrupted by administrators, accountability, each change to financial reporting data has to be logged, detail, the exact database query and the associated response have to be logged, baselines, what's normal activity and what stands out as unusual, breadth, you have to capture all activity and be able to identify any attempt to exploit database vulnerabilities. Here's a five-step process for SOX compliance that leverages the framework approach. First, discover sensitive data across the enterprise and gather risk profiles for data. Second, assess the databases and servers you've discovered for vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and security gaps, and remediate those. Third, establish business need-to-know access. Management frameworks require controls to prevent inappropriate and unauthorized use of the system across all layers. Fourth, continuously audit and alert on significant changes in financial data usage patterns to prevent fraudulent activity. Finally, measure and report to demonstrate that configuration and usage are within best practice guidelines. Let's look at each of the five in more depth and how they can be addressed with a database audit and protection platform. SOX implementation frameworks require risk assessments. Discovering databases and sensitive data help you analyze relevant risks and build formal risk assessments. DAP solutions have database discovery and classification capabilities that can build an accurate database inventory, including known and rogue databases, and help locate in-scope data. SOX implementation frameworks call for system software controls, including periodic assessments and reviews of vulnerabilities and security gaps. DAP solutions can identify and help mitigate security vulnerabilities and configuration flaws through automated vulnerability assessment and virtual patching. Virtual patching provides vulnerability protection until a database patch can be applied. SOX compliance frameworks require access control security to prevent inappropriate and unauthorized use. Leading DAP solutions include user rights management capabilities, that allow you to centrally collect and analyze user rights and ensure access is based on business need to know. SOX compliance frameworks require controls to prevent and detect unauthorized transactions and to ensure timely reporting of security violations. DAP solutions specialize in auditing database activity details, including local activity, and can look for anomalous activity as well and more advanced solutions can associate database activity with the relevant application users. DAP solutions can watch all user activity, including privileged users, such as DBAs and system administrators, which is necessary for enforcing separation of duties. The management frameworks used for SOX enforcement call for centralized security monitoring and periodic audits to verify that controls are operating effectively. Enterprise class DAP solutions Provide that centralized security monitoring and the reporting capabilities of DAP solutions help internal groups analyze threats and demonstrate compliance.